Welcome back, viewers. I am here, just finished off the first half of the uh, tournament that will yield the Auroch Reels. I am up against, as y'all may have saw, uh, in the final round, I am up against the Ronzos. I actually like the Ronzos as a uh, Blitz Ball team, especially if I can manage to get the uh, Backliners, uh, but they very rarely drop their contracts on them. So let's go on and go into the uh, second half and deal with this shit. Gonna get the Aurochs, uh, the Auroch Reels. Come on. Thank you. Mark mode. Follow the leader. Don't worry, viewers. I'm not gonna do what I usually do and just sit back in the goal until time runs out. I know that's boring. Also, I'm only two up and I like to have at least a four up on them. Or up on any team. Oh. Don't even need a jack shot. Just kick him in the balls. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Uh, for those who are curious, yes, I do know about the reset uh, statistics thing to make things appear quicker and all that, but I've, I, I just never have liked that method. Oop. I actually said for the wrong thing. I I've never liked that method. Mostly because the Albed Sykes always give me problems. If it weren't for the Albed Sykes, then really I'd have no problem whatsoever. But trying to sneak a goal in through Nimrook is a pain in the ass at level 1. Just because level 1 Nimrook still has like a 20 in catch. Oh, sorry about that, viewers. Still sick. Alright. Get this shit back down when to Titus. Uh, but, yeah. I know, back to what I was saying, I know all about that. I just don't like doing that method. So, alternatively, I grind a little bit to uh, get Titus's freaking shoot up to like 30 or 40 so Nimrook just can't freaking block. Because, fuck you, Nimrook. Unless I drop contract with him, in which case I pick it up immediately because, my god, Nimrook is an amazing freaking goalie. <laughs> uh, after this episode, I will be collecting up all of the sigils, crests, and celestial weapons. Now, I have already obtained some of the sigils and crests, but I haven't obtained any of the uh, celestial weapons. So, for what I have already collected, I will go on and just go back there and basically like show the empty chest or whatever. Or in the case of the one that you get for the monster arena, just friggin' make mention of it while I stand in front of the monster arena. Then, after that, it's gonna be, ironically enough, the Monster Arena. I'll show off all of the regular battles and as... Uh, you know what? I'll just say the regular battles. That way I can save the super bosses, uh, or the originals and all that, for uh, a completely separate episode. Because a lot of the originals, especially Null Slug, I'm gonna have to grind to get specific, like, strength and... Uh, magic sphere so I can deal with the freaking high tier defense. Mm. Sorry about that, viewers. Meant to uh, mute the uh, mute, mute my microphone. Glad to hear me sort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow Titus. Ah, I'm just gonna... Oh, god damn it. I keep pressing all the wrong things. Oh, oh, that's right. I forgot. I hindered his endurance, so it actually doesn't matter. Fuck you. <laughs> and uh, as I stated last episode again, this is just my generalized strategy. Just fucking get Titus right up to the goal. Jack shot. 
pretty much guaranteed to land. I feel sorry for the Ronsos. I am just decimating them. Much like the Guado did. Oh, too soon. Uh, I, I guess while I'm waiting for the time to finish running out, I have gone ahead and captured 10 of every monster. That was what I was talking about in the last episode about making use of the game speed increase as well as the, uh, uh, what's, what, what's it called? Uh, as well as the supercharger and the, uh, big, uh, battle frequency increase and auto battle, all that stuff. I use that mainly to speed up the uh, capturing process because catching 10 of every monster, especially the freaking Malboros and Tonberries, is a pretty massive time sink. I mean, even with that, I think I've... I, I actually don't remember how high. I'll actually check here in a minute. So, as y'all can see here, what led me to this point, I first had to go up against the Outbit Sykes, which just proved my point about not resetting the goddamn data, because I pretty much can guarantee I would have lost that battle. Uh, round two was Loga Goers, and then ending on the Ronso Fangs. So, I got 13 Gore Skull, 13 Gore Skull, yes. 13 Scores Gold. Whatever the fucking thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, first place, Orok Reels, top scorer. A return sphere is always nice. I'm level six, so let's go on and back out of that. Go on and, uh, uh here we go. All right, frequency up. And supercharger. Waka. Time to see the Auroc reels. Now, I have actually never seen this myself. It looks like... Oh, sorry viewers, that was a bad one. Looks like it's a combination of all three reels with an optional new one. I'm gonna see if I can't get that new one just to show what it does. Hey! Okay, it looks like it's just a massive damage all hitting attack. Well, that was the Auroc Reels, and that finally takes care of collecting all of Waka's overdrives. So now all that is left to do is to finish up this league, and then the Jupiter Sigil should be available. So I'll see y'all next time with the Sigils, Crests, and Celestial Weapons. Cheers.